Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. It's Sharon here from Mind Healing Harmony, and I wanted to share something with you today that is really about our light and about ourselves and what's been happening in the world recently and over the past year or so. And it may help you to understand what is really going on out there and uh, how we can battle through it together in unity. So if you would like to like this video at the end, please do so or subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you again, but I'm going to have to look down a little bit because it's a poem that I've written and it's called Finding the Light. So here we go. A long time ago in the land of the free, our light shined, shined so bright for all to see. The world so beautiful and full of delights. Our spirits walked the earth day and night. We loved one another's eternal light. There was no thought for race or color. We all were in this world for one another. Our experience here was all to behold. The joy of life we were living was being told. We embraced Mother Earth, its energies she omitted. All the while our light grew to unbelievable limits. Our hearts were warm, full of love and understanding. Our lives full of all envisioned and had foreseen the world in which we are standing. There was no planning, just evolution. The dreams and light started this revolution. Before our eyes, our world started to grow. Our minds creating that which we all had foretold. Our thoughts of yesterday were evolving now today. What amazing dreams we all had envisioned. A life full of freedom, love and all that we could vision. As time drifted on in peace and harmony, another mission. Awakening from below was slowly partaking. They came from below with the darkness they felt, ready to take all that we had felt. They planned to deceive us. They lied and cheated. The darkness they had was now all starting to creep at us. Their wit and cleverness went undetected, for this society was trained to act as instrumented. Years came and went as their plan forged ahead. The last 60 years went without a dent. Future generations fulfilling the demands of their dead, their plans all went straight on ahead. Here we stand near the end fighting this spiritual war. For they know we are as one, not powerful. They know we the people as a whole are more powerful than them all. So the fast they created would not let us amend. Our light dimmed into submission. Now we grow and grow in unison. The power of the light, brighter than all their might. The truth, after all, will set us free as they try to hide thee. We are one, we are all, we are the light, we are free. And they will not be controlling our decree. For we are the angels, those from the stars. Our light shines bright as we all awake. And they, well, 
they will feel our quake. So I wonder whether some of you will understand what that poem's about. But as I said to you many times before, we are full of light. That's why we love being outside, because we exist because of light and energy and water. We are not born to be in the dark. We are not born to live inside all of our life or the greater portion of our life. Are you ever sitting in an office from nine to five or whatever the case may be thinking, gosh, I'm just dying to get outside. How much do you die to get outside when you're working in an office? I know when I worked in an office I did. I loved my lunch break. I never stayed inside because I just wanted to get outside and be free and have fresh air, not recirculated air. And I also wanted to, if there was, get out into some beautiful sunshine because that's where we're happiness walking outside, walking with our dogs, walking with people that we love, picnicking with people that we love, and spending time with people that we love. We are all interconnected. Our energies are all interconnected. And even more so now, we need each other because there are elements out there that we don't understand that are going on right now. And uh, one thing I do know is that there are a lot of people that are suffering and that's why I decided to do everything that I'm doing here, to try to help us to heal, to, to help people to really feel harmony in their life and be able to move forward and be able to help themselves, try to understand what's happening, where we're going and what, what's going on. And probably one of the main thing is that we need to be outside. We need to be doing we need to be living our life's purpose. We need to be helping others and we need to be joined in humanity no matter who you are, what nationality you are. We all are the same. We all came from up above and we all know that this is just our physical self. You know, that little, that little voice in your head that's talking to you sometimes it's that little person on the inside saying, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? You know, as I've mentioned before, you know, they give you warnings. You're going to run out of fuel. Don't walk down that alleyway right now. Go in the opposite direction. So try listening to that intuitive spiritual self and you will find that um, you will find life easier in some capacity. I hope you like my poem today. It's just something that I wrote um, a couple of months ago and I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's fine. If you'd like to make some comments about it, that's fine. I'm happy for you to do that. If you like my video or you like my channel, please do subscribe and please leave a comment at the end. Well, take care everyone. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are because every day is to be lived and every day is to be lived with purpose. Bless you all. Bye.